It's the morning of day 19 in the original Fab 14 are doing well. They're eating, they're drinking, they're all fine. And at about 9.45ish this morning, we came in here and I saw one more new baby in the incubator. So now we have 15 out of 33. There's number 15. And I don't know which one of these eggs it was. I know it was not the one that you can see the feathers in. As that one is still here, right there. You can see the big crack on the side of it, but no movement. So that one may have been shrink wrapped, possibly. But one more has come, so we have 15 now. The incubator is at 80%, still holding a good 99.5 to 100, 100 degree temperature. So we'll let it keep going, maybe we'll get more. And these are all the eggs that were in there. Some of them are the ones, I mean, you know, they're the ones that are opened and the ones that have not hatched yet. I didn't take any of the eggs out. And we'll keep the Fab 14 covered. And I have to keep this covered because I saw some of them jumping around, like trying to fly already, um, where they just kind of hop and like sling over to another area. It's, it's kind of funny. I tried to get it on video, but of course they didn't do it when I opened up my phone. Oh well. But they're doing very well. Heat's good, food's good, water's good, and the babies are good. We got several inches of snow yesterday, all day. Schools were closed. Today's a two hour delay. But then it was followed by rain, so it's already melting away. Good morning, girls. Want some nice, fresh, warm water? Would you like some fresh warm water? I got some for you. Let's get rid of this. Nope, stay in there. She's that blue splash moran that you hear. She is so vocal. You hear her talking every day. You got a lot to say, Amanda? Huh? I hear ya. You girls doing good? much mud out here. Glad you guys are nice and dry. So our bird walk with the broken beak, she's right there. She's doing okay. She's eating and drinking. Alright, I gotta feed your friends. Let's see how the quail are doing. All three of them are up here eating. Hello, girls and guy. Give 
me some more food too, because this is wet now from the snow. Some of it is. Alright, I'm back with some dry food for you guys. And I'm gonna cover this up a different way. Because snow is dripping in. And we don't want that. So I will be back. Alright, the coverage is much better now on the quail. Since putting the tarps around the entire thing. So nothing, the rain or snow doesn't blow to the sides of it. It definitely needs walls. For sure. All right, on to the rabbits. this fence. It's fell down a little bit, so I gotta put some bungee on it to try to hold it until my husband can fix it. do it. Take a quick look at how the seedlings are doing inside. Back there's all the peppers and celery and eggplant. They're all doing well. This one eggplant Casper did not germinate so I'll stick another seed in there and oh, that's a tomato. So yeah the only thing that did not germinate was oh there's two I'm sorry the eggplant Casper and the Cubanelle pepper are the only two things that did not germinate from there. We've already got sprouts on the tomatoes that I did on the 16th. Here's one, the sun sugar's up. Super Sweet 100's up. BR Moscow's up. Ace 55 is, has a little piece up. What is this here? Roma in my gardener that has a little something coming. Sun sugar, another sun sugar, one from Urban Farmer and one from Seed Savers. Both of those are up. So these are doing well and the Carib or Caribe that's up as well. So tomatoes are coming up. The peppers and everything else is doing well. There's some more tomatoes in here. Black Crim is coming up, Cherokee Purple, both Cherokee Purples, Better Boy, Beef Steak, from M.I. Gardeners up, my cabbage has come up. These are doing very well. So I'm just going to give everything a little spray in my spray bottle here. You can feed it from the bottom, but since the ones are just drawing a little bit on the top, I want to just go ahead and spray those, give them a little mist. Gotta work it 
I have my light fixture here. Oh, too much. Gotta find that right. There we go. So right amount so it doesn't spray too hard. So I'll do this on the tops, but I'm gonna also put some on the bottom, some water from the bottom just to like especially for the peppers. Those will soak that up. So the Fab 14 turned into the Fab 15 and finally the Fab 16. Here are all 16 baby quail. I think the incubator is done. There's been zero movement in the rest of the eggs, which is fine. So we had 16 out of 33 eggs hatch and all of them are doing well. All doing very well. For some reason the water doesn't like automatically come out of here. happy and healthy baby quail. They're doing very well. I'm very pleased. It's funny how they all go to that water once it comes up. So probably about at least three times a day, even four times a day, we'll come in and have to make sure the water refills. Because for whatever reason, it doesn't just automatically come down out of the little hole which is supposed to just kind of refill itself, but it's okay. I'm home to make sure, take care of it. So it's fine since I'm here. So while those are growing, we are waiting on the next set to hatch of the blue quail. And these ones are due to come out on March 8th. They're just doing their regular turning. And we'll wait for these babies to come out. We're so excited to see these as well. I keep a towel on here because I found that this one seems to lose humidity often. And so when I put the towel over it, it seems to keep it in a little bit better. This one is the Papa Bader, 1588. And yeah, the, kind of, the humidity doesn't kind of stay up very well. So the only difference that I've noticed mostly in this one and the Farm Innovators is this one, while they're both styrofoam, this one, you, the styrofoam's on the outside. Whereas the Farm Innovators one, it's styrofoam, but it has this plastic covering around it. So I think that helps it to stay, to keep its temperature and, and its humidity very well. And it, and it overlaps here, so that does well. But I'm going to go ahead and get these old um, eggs out of here. The ones that did hatch, um, I may be able to crush those and give those to the chickens. I'm going to check. The information on that just to make sure that is okay and the other ones that did not hatch we'll kind of cut them open to see if there's actually a chicken in them to see was it just that the chicken didn't make it because it was possibly shrink wrapped when we were taking some of the babies out or if it was not a fertile egg to begin with hopefully most of them I'm hoping that they were not a fertile egg to begin with of course so we'll see I'll keep you guys posted as usual thank you so much for watching Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when we have new videos that come out. Leave a comment, ask a question. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.